<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Songs of Six. As you can see, this video is going to be about bridges. Although they're not very important and some people may not be interested in them, I can see why. Uh, they are a new addition to the game. As you can see, they are an addition to the texture of a deep water slot. So you can no longer just remove the uh, deep water. You have to actually build a bridge over it. If you were to try to remove it, you basically create little uh, dirt slabs in the ground or rocks to walk over. So the goal is to build a either dirt road or stone road or fancy stone road if you've got the resources for it and uh cross that path right there so this allows these guys to get over this giant river much easier than if they had to walk all the way around either way so now you can have people living over here and over here and they can live and access these fisheries from either side uh, and as you can tell this is the continuation of my dev test city or uh, alpha test city or whatever you want to call it uh, this is just a tester city that I'm working on to see what works, how things work, and try to like give feedback to Jake, the dev. As you can see, I have these three different pumps. And somebody had questioned or commented that they were likely not working. Uh, no, this is how they work. Um, they feed into each other and they provide more pressure. The distance of the pressure, I do not know because the two of this, th this here, and that here is more than 64. And the length from here all the way down in all these slots is more than 64 tiles. So from my assumption, there is far greater than just 64 pressure for each. I think they're like uh, multiplying or they may be adding a, a great deal more to the pressure. I'll have to uh, ask him or recommend that there should be a total addition to the pressure so that you can see exactly how much pressure or maybe at the end you can highlight and see okay this is uh 40 pressure and then up here is like 60 percent so you know how much water you have left before you run out and if you need a new pump just want to say thank you again for all the freaking views on the uh last pump series and the other update videos uh you guys are awesome and just by showing your support for the video by liking it you you give the algorithm the pump it needs if you catch what i mean to uh shoot my video up there which i'm very grateful for so anyways i'd like to cover another aspect because this is going to be kind of two things i like to get multiple into one video so that i'm not wasting your time Another aspect of the game that's changing is food stalls as well as markets. And I briefly talked about them, but I didn't really go over them. And obviously the shrine here in the middle. So we'll go over all three. The market allows you to put access to different resources that the people can come to the market and grab. So there are two people here working and you can see this guy here. These fishermen are browsing the local market. So they come in. Uh, and they grab some fish or some furniture or stone or whatever they need for their house and they bring it back to their house on their own instead of how it was before which I believe uh, they pulled from warehouses or they may have just magically got to our house the same goes for the food stall but this is obviously for food um, and you can put preferences to the food stall uh, by default it already comes with all of these tabs selected so it will fill up everything you have into these spots but what's good is if I click this all 25 of the fish will be shot back into my inventory they don't get destroyed same goes for here so for example I wanted to take these fish back and I was running out of food a Mevian's like fish as decoration um, you could do that and you'd get it back uh, the shrines the shrine to a minion uh, I could have probably built all three of the shrines but I didn't really plan to do that um, they only require stone for a Minion, a Thuri, and Shmalor. Uh, Krator obviously requires wood. And I believe they all cost, roughly they should cost the same according to their size. And they come in different size variants. 
Um, the amount of worshippers obviously helps the growth of your religion. So right here I have a, looks like a 34 slot shrine. So not very big. Uh, probably could do with another bigger one uh, in some other part of the city. Uh, this is a better and faster way to get access to religion throughout your city. So expect to put down these. Uh, every time that I've made a new city so far in the alpha test, uh, and I've made multiple new ones, this is the one that has survived the longest, uh, and I haven't really worked on it since I did the pumps. But the shrines, I always forget to place them down, and they're a, just a very cheap way to boost happiness. Uh, a lot of the early things you get, like a speaker, stage, and a fight pit, are really cheap in your technology to unlock. Uh, as well as, um, what is it? Oh, got a sneeze. Oh, sorry. Completely lost my track, my train of thought. There, there is some really good early, early on things to get. Oh yeah, the warhammers. Warhammers are a great source of income, and I was completely wrong. The area that you are in affects the cost of each item so for example in the area that i'm in right now iron is extremely cheap i can go to a person who's my trade partner and i can get iron bars at 228 a pop in my other city that's in a more fertile zone in the middle of the map it's about 600 to 800 so there is going to be huge fluctuations in prices for things as of this moment. Uh, he is working on trying to make them more realistic and also stop the AI from doing things that just don't make sense and kind of cap you early on. Because the AI are coming, they have a lot more intelligence. I've been in a battle or so and I lost the battle because they work in different units and the groups are a lot more cohesive. So when they attack each other, I've actually seen an envelopment and your guys start to attack the sides of people instead of just standing there and looking like a fool. They actually do get in there on all sides and attack. So if you have 100 guys against 200 like I did, all 100 guys are engaged, but unfortunately they have two or three guys per guy on them. So you lose those fights unless you're really well equipped. But the military system is going to be a really fun one to explore, so expect a lot of beta videos as well. Because the second this pops into beta, I'm not going to just stop making videos on what's happening. Uh, and I definitely want to do some tutorials. I'm just not a very great editor when it comes to those quick snappy tutorial style videos. Uh, more of a laid back chilled guy, so bear with me. Well, <laughs> don't mind my neighbor. I don't, I don't know, plan to put that edit in there. <laughs> but yes, uh, not a very great editor when it comes to specific styles of tutorials and stuff like that. So I'm looking to upgrade my skills and learn a little bit more on how I want to do it. Uh, as you can tell in the last video, I put a little bit of text, a little bit of flash to it because I feel like these videos are special and I want people to see them in the future and actually gain a little insight into what songs is about and how it's working. Uh, just to know that Jake the dev is daily working on this game, putting out new updates for the alpha build, which then translate to the beta. Anyways, I just want to say thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!